Hey, it's Scott Todd, and I have a new segment I wanna talk about. It's called Tech Tuesday. It's where we look at the technology. It's looking at the stuff that I use to build my passive income. And one of the things I wanna show you today, I thought this was kinda of cool. I saw it, and I wanted to go back and figure out how to implement it. It's this. Look, here you are. You're looking at, um, you're looking at the course that I'm doing for accounting for land investors right now. And in the course platform, I actually put in there the PowerPoint slides. Here's the PowerPoint slides. It's embedded in the class platform. And I just really thought that this was the coolest thing ever because to be able to take a PowerPoint slide and embed it into a website, think about that for whether it's property reports or documents or slides, it's content that you wanna share. Isn't it really cool to be able to put that onto your blog or to your website or wherever you're hosting your content? So in that case, let's look at how I did this. Now, it's really, really simple. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint. I use um, Microsoft 360 uh, for, for, my, um, for my Microsoft projects. And with that comes OneDrive. And what you have to do is you have to store the files on your OneDrive account. And you'll notice that I have it here that I'm storing it in the public folder. And, you know, you could literally, you could just come right over here, highlight it, uh, right click it, and then hit embed. And when you do that, over here will be the embed code of what you need. And you can change the height and the width right here of, you know, what, what size it's doing so that you, uh, you can go in there and uh, customize it to your own website. However, there's another way of doing this, and that is you can actually open this in PowerPoint online. And when you open it up in PowerPoint online, you'll come over here to the file, and you will go to share, right here, share, and it says embed. And when you're doing this, now you get to choose different sizes. So you'll notice that, like right here, I'm just gonna choose 962, and what that's doing is it's changing the embed size right here in the width and the height. So you can always change that on the fly and you'll notice that every time I change this, it's changing it. I just grab this code and then what I do is I come back over to my website and I embed that code or I put that HTML code back into the website. Now what's cool is uh, if you don't wanna, if you're not using PowerPoint and you're using something else, maybe you're using Google Sheets, you can do the same thing with Google Sheets. Like here's a little test presentation that I made in Google Sheets. And what you'll notice is that um, over here under share, I'm sorry, under file, there's the option to publish to the web. And when you do this, you get an option that says embed. And you can come over here, embed it, and you can hit publish. And it's gonna say, do you really wanna publish this? And when you say, okay, you get to choose your file sizes. And um, you can actually grab this code right here. And again, take this code and put it into your website and it's a really, really cool, handy way to be able to take some content, especially like a PowerPoint or a Google Slides, embed it into your content, your, your website or your platform, whatever you're using, and just change the customer experience. Hopefully you find that value added. Whatever you think about it, scroll down. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is helpful. Do you want to see more Tech Tuesdays? I hope so because, I don't know, I like technology. Thanks for watching. Take care.